video will describe some of the connections music has with language, what phonological awareness is, and how it connects to music and literacy. The video will then end with examples of songs that can help. The connection between music and language starts in the brain. Scans of brain activity show that although music and language activate different areas of the brain, there is a lot of overlap. Notice the similarities between the patterns of activity, as seen in the language state and the music state. All humans have language and music in their culture. At its most basic level, music aids language development by engaging children. Children engaged in music, especially singing, are then more likely to practice language. Music and spoken language both require a development of listening skills, and music offers a fun and engaging way to practice listening skills. This toddler class is paying close attention to the sounds of speech that the teacher sings. For now, they are practicing their listening skills but with more exposure, they will begin to imitate the sounds and the words the teacher uses. Spoken language is made up of different sounds. Phonological awareness is the ability to recognize the different sounds of language. If you can separate the word hello into the sounds h, huh, e, eh, l, and o, oh, you have developed phonological awareness. The song Apples and Bananas helps children to distinguish between vowel sounds by replacing the vowel sounds with other vowel sounds. For example, he replaces apples with apples. I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. I like to eat, 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 apples and bananas. And I like to... Music can help young children to produce letter sounds. This helps them also develop phonological awareness. This two-year-old is reciting the alphabet phonics song. A, B, A, 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 B, D, B, 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 D, D, K, 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 D, 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 E, E, D, A, F, I, D, F, I, F, I, D, D, K, K, K. Phonological awareness provides the basic building block for reading, and studies have reported that music, especially singing and listening activities, help children to develop this awareness. For example, adding different letter sounds to the sound at can help children read other words, such as cat and bat. The rhyming patterns in nursery rhymes, such as hickory, dickory, dock, encourage children to become aware of words and their sounds. As children hear the vowels and consonants in rhyme, they begin to imitate the sounds, and they can recognize these patterns when reading. Using music to help children develop phonological awareness requires following some simple guidelines. When choosing songs, make sure they are developmentally appropriate. The words and melody should be simple and not too fast. The song should have repetitive lyrics or an easily learned refrain. The more rhyming there is in a song, the easier it is to remember. Age-appropriate songs include language and themes which are not too mature and that can be easily understood. The Wheels on the Bus is an age-appropriate song that pays special attention to different sounds and provides opportunities for repetition. Some songs may have a simple melody and can be easy to remember, but they may not be as age appropriate. A moderately paced song with simple words 
and a simple melody gives children time to listen to the sounds of the words and try to repeat them. When in doubt, choose a simple favorite like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Old MacDonald Had a Farm is a helpful song for developing phonological awareness because there is a lot of sound repetition. But this specific version of Old MacDonald is moving much too quickly for any of this to happen. And finally, don't be afraid to improvise. The wheels on the bus can include monkeys on the bus that go ooh, ooh, ooh. Or the itsy bitsy spider can become the wiggly jiggly spider. Your only limit is your imagination. Here's a quick review of the concepts presented. Remember the diagram of brain activity? Language and music overlap in the brain. Spoken language is made up of different sounds. Phonological awareness is the ability to recognize these different sounds of language. Remember the baby who sang the phonics alphabet song? She was able to remember the sounds that go with the correct letters because music helps develop memory of sounds and then phonological awareness. And finally, phonological awareness helps children learn to read because they are able to connect the sounds they hear to written language. <laughs>